Hello beautiful internet family, Dan A from Danstube.tv and today we're checking out another flight controller that will truly unlock the full potential of your DJI drone. It's called Litchi or Lychee. There's definitely a debate going on about how to actually pronounce this application. So let me know in the comments, let's solve this once and for all. Is it Litchi or is it Lychee? And in today's video, we will be checking out the functionality that is available for the Mavic Mini in the current Litchi beta. So it's not available to the public just yet, but we get an exclusive look at the beta to see what the Mavic Mini can do using a third party application like Litchi. I will have a link in the description below and a card that will pop up on the screen to check out my video with drone link so that you can kind of compare the two pieces of software to see what's right for you. In this video, I will focus entirely on the tracking and follow modes that are available right now in the beta. It looks like the Android version is a little bit more polished and and has a more fleshed out follow mode right now. But with the iOS version, you only have a tracking mode available and within that mode, you can also use the follow mode, but it's not as polished as the Android version. So in today's video, I'll be focusing on the iOS version to show you what's actually available for you iOS users out there. You can straight away track a subject. And what that means is that the drone will stay in one position and the camera will just kind of move and look for that subject in that box that you've drawn around it or that rectangle that you've drawn around it. For the most part, that worked relatively well. It was pretty decent because the drone obviously wasn't moving. Um, but then when it came to the actual follow mode, that's where it really fell apart. And I do wanna mention that obviously this is a beta, so it's understandable that it's not the most fleshed out experience right now. And Litchi have actually told me personally that they are focusing in on the Mavic Mini functionality. So as that becomes more of a public version, it will obviously become more fleshed out, polished, and hopefully really reliable. For this test here, I tried to find the most neutral flat area I could find, something that wouldn't be ridiculously complex and would hopefully allow the algorithm or the coding that they've set up to actually figure out where the subject is compared to the background or to you know a tree that's in the foreground or whatever it may be. And for the most part, like I said, if it was just looking at a subject and the drone itself wasn't moving, it was just in a fixed location and the subject would move away a little bit, it seemed to do all right there. It did a decent job for the most part. But it's more so when it started trying to follow you and move with you, it just really struggled with its depth perception and struggled with its spatial understanding. It didn't seem to know where it was in the world as such. It just seemed to really struggle to see where the subject was compared to the background or compared to something that was in the foreground. And again, that's completely understandable because this is a beta version and it's not the full public version right now. So I can't be overly negative on it. But I guess this is just a test to see how the iOS version of the beta works because I've actually seen a lot of other videos and they're focusing on the Android version of this application. So I guess right now from what I can see, it's not the most reliable iOS iteration of Litchi. Uh, it is beta and we will have some updates over the coming weeks. And obviously when it's a public version, I will do a full test on it to see how it works on iOS. I will also be testing the Android version in the coming days as well. So there will be a video that will pop on the channel very soon. So keep tuned for that one. Overall, this is a really exciting concept. Being able to have a powerful portable drone like the Mavic Mini, something that is honestly remarkable for its price point and for its size. It does so much. And to be able to have a tracking and follow mode as well just adds that additional layer of kind of prosumer features to a budget drone, which is extremely exciting and so many people are excited about this. I do also run a Mavic Mini Australia group. So if you wanna join that, then I will have a link in the description below to check that one out. But we have a really supportive community of Mavic Mini lovers. You don't have to be from Australia as such. We have some other members from all over the world. Um, but the main focus is to be able to share Mavic Mini knowledge and to be able to connect with other Mavic Mini pilots. I would love to hear from you guys now. Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on a tracking feature coming to a drone with no sensors. You know, it's such a base level drone with just nothing on it, no sensors. It has no idea what's going on. And to be able to have a tracking mode 
available for this drone. What are your thoughts on that? Are you excited about this? Do you think it's dangerous? Are you going to pick yourself up a Mavic Mini or do you already own a Mavic Mini? I'd love to start a conversation in the comments below, but I'll now leave the rest of this video to the tracking and to the footage from the Mavic Mini, just so you guys can make your final decisions on the beta version of Litchi. Also let me know, is it Litchi or Lychee in the comments below? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.